WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, kicking things off with bank earnings. We have J.P. Morgan beating, Citi beating, Wells Fargo trading lower, Delta out as well. And right now, futures right around flat. S&P is basically flat, 32.89. NASDAQ futures, NASDAQ 100 flat as well at 9,088. Dow futures up 24 points at 28,895. And we're going to get right into the charts. Dow 30, 28,899. I say we're flat, and we are, but we were lower overnight to a low of about 28,739. S&P 500, flat as well. Lows overnight, about 13 points below where we're at right now, 32.75. S&P 500, we already covered. Crude oil market, a little bit of volatility. We were lower to a low of 57.75 at about just prior to 4 a.m. We're up to 58.52 right now. There's your gold contract, 1544, actually dipped to a low of about 1536 overnight. And the euro US dollar trading a bit lower, a little bit of euro weakness, dollar strength, euro trading 111.12. Jump through those charts quickly so we have a moment to go through some of these earnings. JP Morgan, quite a beat on their bond trading revenue. JP Morgan's bond trading revenue surged 86% to 3.4 billion, exceeding the 2.6 billion that they estimate by roughly 800 million. Lots going on in their earnings, but their beat, their trading higher. We'll jump over to their chart in a moment. Citigroup earnings beat expectations on fixed income trading surge as well. Wells Fargo, on the flip side of that, profits dropping 50% as legal fees, low interest rates weigh on results. We also have U.S. consumer prices increasing moderately in December. The consumer price index index increased 0.2% last month after climbing 0.3% in November. And Delta Airlines, their fourth quarter profit beats estimates thanks to cheaper fuel and strong travel demand. So there's your headlines. We'll jump through the charts real quickly. JP Morgan closed at 137.20, was almost up to 140, now trading 138.52. You have Citi closing at about 80.65, traded higher, but just marginally higher now at 80.95. Wells Fargo on the flip side, 52.11 closed at, trading at 50.28. Delta Airlines trading higher on their earnings. And how about Tesla? You got to mention it. It is just charging higher overnight. Closed at 524, looking to open at 542. The Tesla train to higher prices does not stop. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom, live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.